You might think that your household garbage has reached the end once it's been placed curbside and hauled away. But what happens to that bag of trash is vital to making St. Lucie County and Port St. Lucie a greener community. Our goal is to put as little waste in the landfill as possible, so we divert it and we try to do that after it comes in the gate so our residents in the county and the cities, our partners, don't have to pay a higher fee. So we do it all once it comes in the gate. That's not to say we don't want them to do curbside recycling or businesses to do it. We want to do that. Your curbside recycling, you can't put an exercise machine in your bin. But once you get it in the garbage truck, once it gets here, we can recover it for recycling. Once a garbage truck reaches the solid waste bailing and recycling facility, the load is weighed and categorized by waste type. The waste streams aren't unique. Everybody's required to do the waste streams in separated categories like that. But the thing that we are unique in is how we process things. Class 1 waste is residential, commercial, and industrial waste. It's picked up, it's placed in the truck, it's brought here and offloaded onto the tipping floor where we try and recover all of the wood, the metal, the cardboard, and the plastics that we can for recycling. The residual that's left over is then baled into very, very dense bales that are only five feet long. And the average bale weighs between 3,800 and 4,000 pounds, which is equivalent to two years worth of waste from the average home in St. Lucie County. All of the waste from two years is compressed into a five foot little cube and then we stack them like building blocks because it allows us to double the amount of waste we put in the space, thus extending the life of the landfill for our partners like Port St. Lucie and St. Lucie Village. We're only consuming about the equivalent of a 20 horsepower motor. As the organic waste in the landfill decomposes, it produces methane gas. Most facilities burn it to destroy it, but the St. Lucie County landfill has partnered with its neighbor, Tropicana, and sends all the generated landfill gas over to their plant to utilize for electricity. Another one of the waste streams is construction and demolition debris, known as C&D in the industry. And it consists of debris that's left over from the construction or destruction of a structure. 28% of that waste stream is wood, and then you have another about 15% is dirt. So we recover all of the wood that we can, all of the dirt that we can, all of the concrete that we can, the block, the brick. To further reduce it, we grind the wood waste down, and all of the nails and screws that's in all that debris is recovered for recycling. The vegetative debris is either land clearing or the bushes that you'd trim at your home or yard waste. It's processed here where it's ground down into six inches or smaller and it's either used as fuel in a cogeneration power plant to make electricity or it can be used to make compost. The waste tires brought in are sent to a local processor where they're ground down to use for drainage on sports fields or they're made into new rubber to make new tires and mats. Residents can drop off household hazardous waste like cleaners or chemicals, or prohibited waste like propane tanks and motor oil. WastePro also offers a free at-home pickup service for end-of-life electronics or e-waste, and mercury-containing items such as fluorescent tubes. When this facility opened in 1978, it was only expected to be in operation until 2002. With all of the changes that we've implemented here, we have 45 years additional life, so we have 2,058 under current conditions. And if we implement more, it'll extend it to 100 or 150 years when we would never need another solid waste disposal facility because we'll learn of ways to recover it. For more information about trash pickup and recycling, visit the city's website at cityofpsl.com.